all still reeling from Tuesday's primary in Indiana. It was a huge night. Two people were knocked out of the race, and one was just knocked out. <laughs> but there was, she's fine. But there's one candidate who remains standing Bernie Sanders. <laughs> Bernie. Bernie scored a huge upset victory that raised his campaign from the grave, which explains why he has the same hair as an extra on The Walking Dead. <laughs> and yes, and yes, the delegate math does look terrible for Bernie, but he's not going anywhere. Do we have your word in this interview that you're not going to drop out before the Democratic convention? Absolutely. We have made that commitment. I'm going to be in it until the last vote is cast. Of course he's not dropping out. He's living every old person's dream. Wherever he goes, thousands of grandkids show up to listen to his stories. <laughs> and I, for one, yes, I'm happy for Bernie. He's always been a great friend of this show, whether as a guest or as a temp worker operating our T-shirt cannon. <laughs> I'm happy to say we paid him $15 an hour for about 30 seconds. And Bernie staying in the election means I can run my favorite thing we've ever done with him one more time, a video game we call Bubble Burst Bernie. When every major candidate has a super PAC, we have said no to super PACs, said no to the billionaires who fund those super PACs. You still are revolution online. It really is fantastic, isn't it? It's really entertaining and doesn't require any political experience, just like being the GOP nominee. <laughs> and tonight, in honor of Bernie's big win in Indiana, now you too can play, because we at The Late Show are proud to present an actual version of Bubble Burst Bernie for your phone or your laptop. Just go to cbs.com slash Bernie game, and you can control Bernie Sanders. So... Billionaires are not allowed to play. <laughs> Go on there and see if you can beat the high score. Of course, thanks to Hillary Clinton's superdelegates, you never can.